Alright everyone, welcome back to the second episode of the Coffee Cast, and today I figured that we'd do a little something different here, and go ahead and just do something a little fun for a change. So we're going to do some Buzz BuzzFeed quizzes related to uh, coffee to kind of make today a little more interesting. Um, order at Starbucks and we'll tell you what your future home will look like. I'm interested. Um, hot or iced? I'd say iced. I mean, I get a frappe. Definitely web. Why not? Um, a drink flavor. Let's go with caramel. Drink. Frappuccino all the way. Alright, well that was pretty quick. Um, so I would live in a villa in Italy. So that's pretty neat. Not sure where the logic in that comes in. Probably because frappuccino is... No, it's, Frappuccino's Greek, I don't know why Italy comes to mind, but... Alright, ooh, let's see if they can guess if I'm a coffee person based on what food I would choose. This definitely, uh... This seems like it would be accurate. Pizza. Pepperoni. Sandwich. Alright, so, if I'm being completely honest, none of these look good to me, but this one looks like I... Um... I, it looks like I pick the most off of this one. You know, I'd pick a lot off of that. Um, ooh. I love how descriptive these are. Ooh, pasta food. That's real descriptive. can really appreciate that. Get out of here, Black Friday ad. Let's go with the spaghetti. Pick some fries. Um, you know what? I gotta say, these are looking the most appetizing right now. Pick some pancakes? Oh, now you're getting somewhere. Um, chocolate and strawberries just seems really good to me right now. Um, definitely a chocolate person over any of these others, especially when it comes to cakes. We're going to pick this one. Okay, so this is a lie. Or maybe I'm just more of a coffee person than I think I am. I don't know. Apparently BuzzFeed is a crystal ball that knows all, so... Uh, yeah. Next quiz. Um, no thank you. I don't even know what over the garden wall is, so I'm not going to bother with it. What kind of tea are you? You know what? Tea can be considered a coffee alternative, so we'll take this one. What's my favorite sport? Soccer. People would describe me as... Mm, loyal. What do I do in my free time? Honestly, whatever I want, because it's the one that I most closely identify with. Which one sounds more interesting? Probably Doctor. I think Doctors do a lot of cool stuff. If I if I could stomach bodily fluids, I'd probably, in, I probably would have ended up being in the medical field. Which represents me? Blue, definitely. Green tea. I am subtle and loving. Um, what else is there? Oh uh, man, I should have done this for my first. I should have done this for the pilot episode. Could have seen what my Halloween costume should be based on my fall coffee order. You know what? Let's let's do this in anticipation for next year. That sounds like a good idea. Where do I usually get coffee? Starbucks, if I go. Um, what size do I order? Honestly, I order large, just because I'm a large person. You know, large needs large, right? Hot or iced? Iced. Um, which style of coffee do you prefer? Always a Frappuccino. Always. Can I just... Is there a setting on BuzzFeed where I can just set that as my default for these kinds of questions? Um, creamer? I mean... There's not really creamer in a Frappuccino, is there? I mean, I guess milk, so... I guess I'll just pick milk for that. Are you adding sugar? Okay, this is kind of... I don't... I guess it's a yes, because it's a frappuccino. I guess there's sugar automatically added to that. How much pumpkin spice do you want? <sighs> I love how there's no none option, because they decided that adding a pumpkin spice IV option, I beg of you, was too good not to include. You know, so I guess I'd pick a little, but in all reality, it's a none. I'm just not a pumpkin person, and I think that the whole pumpkin spice trend is 
more annoying than it is. I guess I guess I can't say more annoying than it is profitable because it is incredibly profitable, especially in the fall. But just none for me. But congratulations, uh, maker of this BuzzFeed quiz. You have gotten you have gotten a response from someone who doesn't like pumpkin spice that they would want pumpkin spice. I guess Grim Reaper. Fall is not your thing. You despise trick or treaters and hand out only dental floss. Pumpkin spice is not even a word in your vocabulary, and you just wish fall will end soon, so you don't have any. You so you don't have to smell anything pumpkin anymore. All right, look. Everything right here about pumpkin spice is accurate. I will say that it is incredibly accurate. Not a fan of it. Never understood the hype around it. However, I do enjoy fall. Fall might be my favorite season. Um, I used to like winter, but I got my driver's license. I really started to hate winter, so, uh, yeah, not really a winter fan anymore, but, I mean, I don't necessarily despise trick-or-treaters, and I definitely don't hand out dental floss. Next quiz. I'm kind of flying through these, honestly, I'm disappointed. I was hoping there'd be some longer quizzes to tell me all about my personality and all this other crap. Build an autumn Starbucks drink to find out which fall color you are? I am intrigued. I want to know what color I am. What type of drink are you creating? Here we are again, Frappuccino. What overall flavor does the drink have? Well, since chocolate's not an option, we'll go with caramel because... Caramel... <laughs> I'm sorry, but just look at the descriptions on these. The caramel picture is labeled as honey jar. Oh man. This is how you can tell these BuzzFeed quizzes are 100% accurate because of content like this. Um, what's the secondary flavor? Ooh, secondary flavor. Now we're really getting, really getting intense here. Um, I'm going to say apple pie. Caramel apple pie is definitely a good mix. What will your drink be topped with? Probably more caramel, considering that the primary flavor we were going for was caramel. Um... Love how they give you an out here to make a just a pumpkin demolished drink, but caramel drizzle. Again, wish this was wish there was a chocolate drizzle option, but I guess that's not fall enough for this BuzzFeed user. Will there be whipped cream? Honestly, I'm gonna choose the outrageous option here because I really like whipped cream on my drink. Um, I think it adds a little something to it. I think it's I think it's a nice way to round out the drink. It's a nice thing to look forward to at the bottom of the cup, or even if you take that stupid bubble lid off that they always put on it, it could be just a nice little thing to kind of go through while you're sipping your frappe. Or, I mean, even if you get a hot chocolate, the whipped cream, you don't get a hot chocolate without whipped cream. I'm sorry, if you do, you're a communist. Um, finally, what's the special add-on will your drink f feature? Hmm. Cinnamon sugar doesn't really go with it. Colored whipped cream, I... Eh, you know what? Cookie straw. Just because this reminds me of the Fruit Loop straws from back in the day, and... You know, I mean, I know it's kind of a stereotypical thing to say on the internet right now, but, you know, we're trying to... We're proceeding with this war on straws. Why not bring the Fruit Loops and other, you know, flavored straws back? I'd buy them. Oh, I'm yellow. Man, I'm, I was hoping for, like, an orange or something. I was so invested. Um, what's next? <laughs> Build a house and we'll tell you which Starbucks drink you are. All right, here we go. This is the deep, thought-provoking quiz that I've been waiting for. The one that just 100% dives into who I am as a person and just what I'm thinking and what I would be if I were, you know, a drink at Starbucks. I'm sorry, drinking a lot of water today. Um, what will your house look like? Honestly, honestly, we're going dream house here. Um, dream house probably looks like this. Honestly, I really like the really like the modernized style. This is very nice too. I really do like kind of the porch setup here. But if I had to pick one, I'd go for a more modernized style. Pick a bedroom. Um. It's kind of a crappy set of options, honestly. I mean, does this mean I'm sleeping on a chair? You know? Um, this one... 
feel like this is the one that would make the most sense, just looking at kind of the context of it. I mean, it's super hard to see, but that just looks like a more modern bedroom, plus the blackout curtains. That's something that I would definitely have. Um, I do think these are pretty poor options, though, and if I could remake this quiz, I would definitely put actual bedroom setups instead of, you know, a potted plant and a chair. I mean, I'm assuming they're going for the aesthetic here, obviously, but at least if you're going to go that route, say, pick a bedroom aesthetic. But we're going to go with this one. Pick a kitchen. Ooh, it's got to be this one. 100%. I love that stylistic element of it. Um... The bar, never really been a huge thing in my opinion. I really like having the island for preparation, though, and having the stove built into it. So we're going to go with that one. Pick a living room. Again, you have some very good living room views here. And then you have this. It's like, I get that you're going for the aesthetic, but pick a living room aesthetic if you're going to do that. Um, I'm going to go with this one just because it shows more of an open concept but yet it's still kind of condensed. This one kind of bothers me up here just because I don't I don't like how empty the room feels in that picture, so we're going to go with this one. Pick something extra to add to it. Ooh. If I had to pick something to add to a house, I would pick... I'd pick a pool just because, I mean... I don't feel like I would ever use a fireplace, plus fire fireplaces are kind of annoying to clean. We all know I don't go to the gym. Um, indoor movie theater would be cool, but at the same time... At the same time, if I'm going to see a movie, I'm either going to watch it at home or I'm going to lay in bed and watch it on the TV on the wall. So, I think I get the most use out of a pool. Ooh, a white chocolate mocha. Okay, so... I guess that would kind of fit into my... You know, I'll, I'll accept that one. I don't accept a lot of... I haven't accepted a lot of these BuzzFeed answers, but I feel like I would be a white chocolate mocha. Um, build your dream coffee shop and we'll tell you what your favorite season is. Why not? You know, we're out here having fun. Jesus style. Um, I like this one. It just feels more classic. Signature season specialty B. I love how descriptive these are. Let's go with this one. It looks like a hot chocolate. Do you choose a tip jar? Oh my gosh. I prefer this one. It's simple. Choose some lighting. String lights are cool, but I think they're tacky in a business setting. Not going to put a chandelier in there. Not going to light it with lamps, so I guess light bulbs are the only option that are it's here for me. What's your signature food twist? I guess... Donuts? Now you see, this is, what, this is the issue that I have with BuzzFeed quizzes. Like, I think that they can be fun. And that's why I decided to do it for this podcast, is because I felt like going through and doing BuzzFeed quizzes would be a fun thing to do, but at the same time, it's like, some of these options just don't make sense. Or it's like, signature food twist is like, I get it, it's like cookies and cream donut thing, it's like mixing the two, but at the same time, in what world is a mason jar mug with Cheerios in it a food twist? Is it because, you know, you're eating it and then you're drinking it out of like a mug? I don't know. Choose an extra element. Again, don't like fireplaces. They're a pain. Um, like a patio. This looks cluttered to me and never been a huge stone person. I mean, I get that some people like them because they say that they have healing properties and things like that. Um... But yeah, we're going to go with the patio for this one. Choose some centerpieces for the tables. Um, feel like candles isn't a very good option. Honestly, you know what? Shout out to the... Shout out to the group that's doing succulents. You know, we'll choose succulents for our centerpieces. Fall! Haha! <laughs> now you see, that's funny. Because the other quiz, you know, said that I'd be the Grim Reaper. Because I hate fall. But this quiz is reversing that and saying that if I could be a season, I'd be fall. Or that it's my favorite season. Sorry, mixing my quizzes up here. 
it's a huge question. It's always going to be, is this your favorite or is this what you'd be? This is kind of how BuzzFeed works. Um, man, which one to do next? Um, can we guess your coffee order from the Halloween cookies you bake? You know, this takes me back to baking cookies with my grandma. Um, so we're looking at Halloween cookies. We'd always bake sugar cookies. She always had the fun little, like... I guess they weren't really stencils, but the cookie cutters. Yeah, cookie cutters is the word for it. She always had the cookie cutters, or you could cut them into the shape of ghosts, or pumpkins, or things like that. So we always did shaped sugar cookies, sweetener. I don't remember what grandma used. I'm assuming it was just normal sugar. Pick an extract, vanilla. We always use vanilla for everything. Um, pick something to mix in. I had to pick something to mix into those cookies. Uh, the issue is none of these work with the sugar cookie. You know, like you don't mix fruit or nuts into a sugar cookie, especially don't mix raisins. I guess if I had to pick, I'd do a peanut butter sugar cookie. Um, I do really like peanut butter and I feel like that'd be a good option. What's next? How would you like your cookies baked? I prefer chewy cookies. I feel like crispy cookies are annoying. I mean, I guess not annoying, but I don't really like crispy cookies just because when you bite them, the crumbs and, like, dust goes everywhere. So I definitely prefer chewy if I had to pick one. What shape will they be? Aw, oh, man. Here's where we have to get into it. Um, You know, the way that I always liked to shape them was as ghosts. I'd always take the ghost cutter and do, like, a dozen or two of them as ghosts, so we'll do that. I got a mocha. Nice, uh, that's my coffee order now. I guess next time I go to Starbucks I have to order a mocha because BuzzFeed said that that's what I'd order. Oh man, I'm giving them too hard of a time, honestly, but I'm enjoying myself. I hope that you guys are too. Um, never seen Queer Eye. have no clue what this is, so I'm not going to bother with that. We know what your Starbucks drink is. We know which Starbucks drink you are based on your answer to these questions. I don't know. I think, uh, which one was it? I think my house, I think the house that I picked already told me that I'm a white chocolate mocha, but you know, we'll see how consistent you are. Let's see, let's see if I'm two different drinks and if I'm having an internal struggle. Do I like coffee? You see, I feel like I should say no since I'm a coffee avoider, but at the same time, I do like frappes, so I'm going to say sometimes. Um, choose a place to eat. Hard Rock Cafe, I've been there once, so I can't really compare it that much. I don't like Burger King, I feel like it's downgraded McDonald's. Taco Bell, I've burnt myself out on it eating too much of it here on campus. We're gonna say McDonald's, which is a place to go on vacation. I've always wanted to go to Japan, so we're gonna say Japan. Choose your favorite flower photo. See, um, I don't like arrangements like this. I feel like there's too much going on. Um, those are nice. I really like the blue, but I think, I just think the white rose is simplistic, yet it makes a statement, so we're going to go with that. Favorite color, always blue. Choose a pet. I guess this is funny because I've actually owned all these except for a guinea pig. When I was growing up, I was always a cat person, but now I'm really more of a dog person. I just feel like dogs do more. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still love my cat. She's 13 years old. Um, love her to death. Fish. Never had good luck with fish. They've always died in our house. So we're going to say dog. Ooh, I'm a frappuccino. This quiz knows me better than... Eh, well, I guess the white chocolate mocha was along those same lines. So, you know, I guess take... <laughs> Take what you will from that, but it looks like BuzzFeed knows me pretty well. Oh man, another one guessing my coffee order. Ooh, can we guess your favorite Starbucks drink? Let's see. Can they? How would you describe your... How would your friends describe you? Intelligent. Favorite season? Fall. Here's my logic. Too cold and snowy. Sucks to drive in. It's alright, but I have super bad allergies and everything starts to bloom. Too freaking hot around the clock. Make it stop. Perfect, because it's cooling down. Um, favorite dessert? 
there is a time where I would have always picked cake, but I really think that ice cream has taken it over for me um, here recently. So we're going to say ice cream. Not a huge pie person. Apple pie will always be phenomenal to me, but can never say it's my favorite. Milkshakes, I'm very selective on. Favorite color. Oh, man. Man. I can't even pick my favorite color here. That sucks. Let's go with orange. Best quality. Ha. Huh. This one makes me laugh. Um, we'll go with intelligence. Ooh, chai latte. Looks like I'm having an internal struggle here. Doesn't... Can't really tell which one I am supposed to be. Never seen Gilmore Girls, so I can't do that one in good conscience. Um, give you a coffee drink to try based on your love life. You know what? We'll do this. Next post is going to be based on... Eh, I can't say that. Maybe I'll do a post in the future based on what drink this is if I remember to. Choose the location. Home watching Netflix, absolutely. Choose an outfit to wear... You know, I think this question really tells you what demographic they assume is going to do a BuzzFeed quiz. But I guess it'd be this one. Comfort clothing. Amount of time before you get engaged. I'm going to assume this is the amount of time dating before you get engaged. So I'm going to say three years. Might want to wait a little longer than that, but I digress to the powers above. Engagement location. No. Too crowded. No. Definitely not. Let's see right here. I feel like this is, um... My issue with these two is they're too public, and I don't like, I don't necessarily like public proposals, because I feel like then you're pressuring her into saying yes. So, I don't want her to feel pressured, so we'd probably go to a secluded location and go with that. Venue for the wedding. Um, no outdoor wedding for me. There's way... I know that the bride usually does all the preparation, but at the same, or I mean, I guess... The bride kind of does the organizing, and the groom just kind of nods along. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but... Outdoor wedding just seems too stressful to me, just because you run into the issue of, oh no, it's raining the day of the rehearsal dinner, and it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. That kind of ruins things, unless you want umbrellas galore, and her to be freaked out because of her dress and makeup. Um, can't say I'd want this, just because I'm not necessarily religious. I mean, I get that a lot of churches will do it for free or for a donation, but I, just, I don't know if I want to get married in a church, so we'll go with this one. Even though I don't really like this location, I think it's the best out of these four for me. Pick a wedding dress? Oh, for the love of God. Yeah, so this was not planned for a... They did not plan for a single male to take this quiz. Um, let's go with that one. Honeymoon destination. I'd go to a beach for my honeymoon. How many kids will you have? If I had to pick, I'd pick a set of twins. Child, give your child a name. Let's go with Max or Maxwell. Um, how long does the relationship last? You know, if I'm getting married, I'm going to hope for that one. Caramel latte. Alright, not sure how they got that one. Um, we'll do one more here before we wrap up. Um, ooh, what color should I dye my hair based on my coffee order? This is going to be a tough one. What kind of coffee do you typically order? Thank you for adding a frozen option. Like, for the love of God. This doesn't mean frappe. This definitely doesn't mean frappe, so we'll go with that one. What time do you usually drink your coffee? Um, none of these, but I guess I'll say this one because I usually get one on my way back from marketing class and drink it while I do homework. Flavor shot or... Do you want a flavor shot or a sweetener? Um, I guess mocha is what I'd pick. Where do you get your coffee? Starbucks. Never been to a local place. Don't have a coffee maker. Not a fan of Dunkin'. Finally, how do you feel about whipped cream? Give me extra, why not? I mean, again, I think I said it. I know I said it before. 
more there is nothing wrong with extra whipped cream, and if you think so, then you're a communist. Oh uh, man, pink hair. <laughs> Guess we know what I'm doing in the future. I kid, of course. Um, Alright, so I guess that's going to wrap up this episode of the Coffee Cast. And uh, if you have any suggestions for future episodes, again, just leave those in the comments. Alright, thanks guys.